I'm from originally from El Salvador. Uh, my family comes from different places, though. Uh, my father was born in El Salvador, but his parents are Palestinian Christians who came from Bethlehem at the beginning of the 20th century. Um, and my mother is, uh, is French, and she was born in France uh, of Polish Jewish parents. The heritage influenced my work in that, um, on the one hand, it was I knew that um, I was a daughter of, of immigrant families in El Salvador, and so um, it gave me, I, I always felt like I, I could kind of um, move through different, different circles and different cultural backgrounds pretty easily. Uh, but it, on the other hand, it also made me feel like I could also be on the margins. And so it influenced my work in that it really, uh, personally, I wanted to find out more about my heritage and more about my cultural background and religious background and began investigating my family history through my work. Um, I chose photography as a medium. Um, well, on the one hand, um, my father had done photography um, as an you know as an amateur, and we had a darkroom at home, and so I learned photography through him. Um, but I, but I was also exposed to other arts because my mother owned an art gallery, so you know art was really part of my language and my experience growing up. But ultimately, I chose photography because I was fascinated by the whole idea that a photograph is really. Uh, a presence of someone, you know, at the same time it's, um, it links you to that presence, that kind of light, the light that reflects off of a person is actually recorded on the film um, or, you know, well now with digital cameras it is recorded in some ways. Um, and so that idea that um, a photograph records what was there and that is no longer there is what always attracted me to photography. Um, photography is known for being very descriptive, but at the same time, it alludes to what isn't there anymore. And so it's a document um, of a particular time and a particular place um, and of a person in, in ways that um, makes it really powerful to create a dialogue with the past. So, through the work, I really began investigating things that had been um, silenced in some way, either because of traumatic, a traumatic kind of event like the Holocaust in my mother's case, or um, because of assimilation and prejudice in my father's case. So Palestinians were not well seen um, in the 20th century um, in Latin America, and you know there's still a lot of prejudice against Arabs. Um, and on the other hand, um, the way to really survive the Holocaust was to be silent about one's identity. So that kind of passed on to me. Um, and those questions, and, and through my work, I really try to um, re, um, re encounter, recreate, um, and construct um, the, the work uh, or these the sense of self and identity that um, in some ways was lost.